Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, we are almost at the end of the month. Next thing you know, we are celebrating Christmas and the holidays and saying a Happy New Year. So for me, being today that it's two days away from Thanksgiving, I want to say thank you to you. Uh, today I want to talk about um, grateful, being being grateful, and I'm so glad that you are joining me today uh, on a powerful uh, episode. Today's episode is going to be about gratefulness and how we often transform the transformations we go through. So not only the topic is gratefulness, uh, this month is also Lung Cancer Month and Awareness. Um, believe it or not, just uh, last month, I had two of my clients who came in here and I've got a beautiful testimonial from someone saying thank you so much because in less than three sessions, she became a non-smoker and uh, the other gentleman who is coming in is coming in for his second session and from a pack and a half, he is down to five cigarettes and believe it or not hypnotherapy is the one of the most powerful ways to help someone become a non-smoker when you choose when you are ready it happens like this so let us honor uh, not only uh, those who make a decision of becoming healthier and stronger but uh, choosing life choosing freedom from something that it's shackling us and uh, actually that's where the addiction comes right it's more than a behavior and a habit so and I also want to say thank you uh, take a moment to recognize the strength and the resilience of those who are affected by lung cancer and those who support them Gratefulness is something that uh, we all cultivate and we can do it for something very small or for something big and it doesn't matter. Through the difficult times is when the light shines and we come to recognize and appreciate those. I want to give you something. Less. I like to talk about sometimes about personal things. This morning over breakfast, I've talked about my mom and how we had our talks and discussions over breakfast. So today, as I am wrapping up my breakfast to go get ready, she says, can I ask you a question? Like, of course, mom, what is it? You want me to Google something for you? She says, no. Was I a good mom? Was I a good mother for you? <sighs> wow. Like, where is this coming from? And she says, no, it's a serious question. I want a serious answer. And at that very moment, for someone like me, who always is poised to have an answer, uh, I keep myself calm and I always have the right answer, something dawned on me and it was her favorite movie and it was so apropos and I said for 25 years I washed your clothes fed your kids and she starts laughing because it was the song from Fiddler on the Roof and she said it's not 25 years it's over 60 years I've washed your clothes and that and then we started smiling because we made it into something that was uh, humor, uh, made the seriousness into light. And, and I said, you know what? You've been a wonderful mother, critical, directive, uh, loving, caring, kind, critical. And she looks at me and she says, is that it? <laughs> like, oh, mom, there's a whole long list of it, but I am so grateful to you. And oops, I got to go. So I go get ready. 
and then I come back as I am leaving I give her a kiss and I said thank you for being my mom I chose the best one and she looks at me and she says well how did you know at that time you weren't even born and I said before I was born I chose the mother I needed and I picked you so you know how sometimes I say we have choices and there is this philosophy it's in the Buddhism philosophy it's in Tao Ching that it is said uh, we choose our life and the experiences we want to experience um, so there I hugged her I kissed her and then I walked out so I think gratefulness is a practice that we ought not to dismiss even in times of hardship in pain in good times and we also share and create something special with the ones that we love we care for and the ones that we are critical um, but those are behaviors it's not that I do not love you I may not like certain things about um, the relationship uh, about our relationship or behavior or habits or anything but it doesn't take away my love for someone and that's where the difference is the moment something goes um, haywire we turn around and say I hate that I can't stand it but remember is it their behavior or is it the person and the way we speak words have so much power words can impact and hurt and pain us more than anything else and as a domestic abuse consultant when I work with clients who come in with uh, overweight and we we talk about the burdens the shame the guilt that energy of heaviness that we uh, take on and put on and I help and guide my clients peel away those emotional weight the reasons we keep that weight to safeguard us and protect us right so that is be grateful to your body because your body is safeguarding protecting you for a reason so let's find out the core a hypnotherapy the perfection of the hypnosis and hypnotherapy is we dabble into the core into uh, finding out the reasons it's just like letting go giving away releasing the things that we no longer need to hold on to even the things that we kept thinking uh, if I didn't need it I wouldn't be holding on to sometimes we have to go and let go and be grateful for what we have and why we kept it and say it's time to release that so that I can show up for myself so that I can stand up for who I am so that I can speak and express right I don't know why I talked about that because I think gratefulness is all about being grateful to who you are being grateful to this body of yours that functions for you and also being grateful for those who come into your life for a reason the good the bad the right the wrong it doesn't matter but be grateful that you have choices yes you do if you think you don't I want you to ask yourself is that true is it really true that you think you have no choices because doing nothing is also a choice staying where you are is also a choice so today you can make that decision for yourself um, today we can explore this gratitude and can help shift your mindset particularly in the face of um, the challenges either a lung cancer or any cancer um, loss of a loved one especially at times like this uh, during the holidays which is coming to a time of closure 
doors are closing, new beginnings are happening, right? So, and if you or someone you know is navigating that this kind of an experience, um, I invite you to lean in today with an open heart to release, uncover, peel away the powers of gratitude that it's within you so we can get started. Here's some questions I have for you. Just like when my client came in for the stop smoking and uh, smoking for a pack and a half a day. And he says, the money is not an issue. Um, I needed it. And the first word, I needed it. I need my cigarettes in order for me to go to the bathroom. I need my cigarettes because whatever. And I said, what else do you need in your life that you believe you are missing? What else do you need in your life that you believe, believe you are missing? And for a moment, he had to think twice about that. And he said, can I answer that later? Of course. So after the session, he turned around and he gave me his answer. So what is the one thing that you are grateful for today that no matter how small or how big it is? And my second question is, how can you cultivate a sense of gratitude even in the times of uncertainty, times of pain, times of challenge? And I know loss is difficult. This ease is difficult. Being in a relationship, a toxic relationship is difficult. Believe me, I know all about it because I have been in a situation that I have hid under a desk in order for the person that I was with not to find me walking into the office. So when I talk about something, I guess um, I want to say is been there, done that right? If it comes to emotional weight, been there, done that, I know how to peel it away. I used to smoke, I know how to, the entire mentality and the emotional connection to that. So when you think about uh, awareness and being grateful to every nerve and every muscle, every organ, every tissue, being able to see, to taste, to touch, to smell, every part of it, because those who cannot see, they have high awareness of being in tuned, not only taste-wise, but their hearing. And how do you balance, balance life? And when you come through this juggling, multitasking, kudos to some of you moms that are multitasking, not only work and children and taking them to everywhere. One of my clients just yesterday, um, physician herself brought her seven year old to me last week and she came in for the second session today. Uh, believe it or not, a seven year old going through anxiety seven-year-old going through anxiety in school. Um, she said she, she hasn't been bullied. She hasn't been anxious. And there has been no episodes at all last week. Uh, it's amazing because what, what we did, I didn't even hypnotize her last week. Yesterday we did half an hour. She was in deep hypnosis. I even have a picture of her that it was taken and with permission. She was so deep. But the week before all I did is ask her questions that how she can empower herself. And we did a little bit of tapping here and here, told her that every time you feel anxious, you know, you can just breathe, breathe in, do chop, 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 and blow it away. And for a seven-year-old, all they need is certain techniques 
because their imagination is far greater than us. And yesterday, half an hour of deep hypnosis, she woke up and comes to full conscious awareness and she smiles. And I said, may I give you a hug? And she says, of course. And then mom is sitting here. She becomes a chatterbox talking about everything, the song she wrote for Thanksgiving, you know. This is what and why I do what I do. Making an impact not only in the lives of women, girls, men who come in thinking that they need something and then they realize with a flicker, just like a flicker of instead of this light, they can do that. And they have the power to make a change that instead of a need he understands it was a want and from want it's just a thought and from thought the urges go away so if you have experienced a change a transformation and you are grateful for something either i have helped you with or someone else has by all means would you please share it with me? And if this message resonates with you, by all means, I would be humbly grateful if you can share it, like it, and go to my YouTube channel. Um, subscribe, because this is how I grow. This is how I know I'm making an impact in your life and the lives of the ones who you either refer or you share with. So being grateful, I want to say, I am truly grateful for the choice that I made for my mom, for my family, because that's how I have grown to be where I am. And the difference that I make in the lives of you and the ones who surround me in my life, those who come into my life and those who have left. And uh, because without that, I wouldn't be here to make an impact and a difference in your life. When I say by trade, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, stress management and domestic abuse consultant is, those are just titles and labels. But who I am is here to be a bridge and an augmentation for you to tap within because that's where transformation begins. Healing starts from the inside. And when you feel good, when you feel empowered, when you are ready to show up and stand up for yourself, just for yourself, even if it is for a moment, you look in the mirror and you say, I'm grateful to you. And that is something that no one can touch because no one can feel for you. No one can hear for you. And the words that impact you or have made a difference for you bank it in and those you no longer like just like my client you go chop 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 blow it away so thank you for being part of today's episode i'm lisa bubari and i am here for you always and until next week god bless you May the universal light surround you always. Bye-bye. And if you like this, share it, subscribe, and go to YouTube, and you'll see the rest of all my podcasts.